What is up, Brawlers? And today, finally, finally after searching, Greg got a Bakugan Ultra Dragonoid. And I technically didn't find this. Alejandro and Daniel did. They said they drove to a target, target about one hour away on the north side. So, of course, they have all the nice stuff up there and we don't. So, uh, they found a Dragonoid Ultra. And they did have Fangs or but Alejandro got that one. But they were nice enough to bring me a Dragonoid. And I was able to uh, buy it from them. I was like, thank you so much. So, finally, we have a Dragonoid Ultra for video. I've been wanting this for so long. Now, all I need is the the Aurolas Fangs or for the deck profile everyone's been asking for. Everyone's been wanting... I even had the idea in mind. Like, I wanted to play Drago, Fangs or and Gorthia on Ultra. And, um... Uh, now I'm just missing one of the figures. I might be able to just do it with Drago and Gorthion and just replace it with one of the Bakken of my choice. I'm, I want to play Krakelios, uh Aquas for so long. I only have one Hyper, though, so unfortunately, uh, the deck won't be at full power if I do, but it can still be playable. So without further ado, let's get opening on this Drago. Man, it's so awesome to have some nerdy friends. You see what I did there, nerdy friends? No? Because, ah, uh, okay, I'll stop. Uh, but I haven't been showing this off in much of the videos, so let me show off the checklist. Of some of the other Bakugan from Wave 3 and some Wave 4. Oh, they did have Chaos Max as well. I forgot that existed. Uh, I didn't tell them to pick it up. I should have. Eh, it's fine. Uh, but I'm glad I got my Pyrus Cindius and Aquas Pertelius. Pegatrix and Webm, I believe, are Wave 4. And those Tortanium colors, a lot of them are Wave 4. Garganoid might be Wave 4, the darkest color. Because we have every other color except Darkest and the Diamond, of course. But everything else should be... Oh, we don't have Cindius core. And we're missing a lot of the Gorthion cores. And... Yeah, we have a few of the Tortanium. We have two of them, actually. We're just missing the Ventus color. Okay. Yeah, all right. So, um, without... Okay, I already said it without further ado. So, let's you know, let's just get this Drago. Uh, all right, that fell. Oops, all the trash fell. Whatever. Uh, I already know what his cores are. They've been previewed in the card collection. So, maybe they'll do that for every figure. So, we'll check out their uh, cores. They'll be really nice. And then we'll get, like, a preview of their stats. Um, 650 plus... Uh, these are the two best of this core so far. I remember on commercial, I keep seeing it. I see, like, the Serpentine's grab a plus 700 shield. I'm like, what Bakugan is going to have that? Because then if that's not in, like, a card collection or come with mul multiple figures, that figure you're going to need to be, uh, buy at least three for the cores if you want to max out the B power. I doubt that anyone would do that, but for the most effective results, that'd be one of the ways. Um, is he not tied? Okay, he's not tied down. Cool. All right, and let's check out his card first, which we've all seen. Again, it's been previewed on the card collections. Oh, they didn't tape it down this time. Cool. Okay. Dragonoid Ultra 5-5 five, five, Blue Shield Red Fist. The most powerful cores and the most balanced stats. Of course, they give it to Drago and Implosion. Six energy, action, destroy an enemy energy card. Fear if you have uh, no cards in hand, destroy two instead. Uh, but yeah, finally we got Drago Ultra. I am so happy. And we got more good cores. And now for the figure, the best part about it. Um, let's fold them up and then we'll open them up and all that other fun stuff. So he like, his legs like, oh, they're really strong. Like, pivot around that way. Uh, I believe his head closes. And then you put the tail up. I haven't read the instructions. I've just seen everyone open it. And I've been, like, really wanting it. There we go. He's really easy to close. Very strong. I can feel like it's really solid. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh, oh, oops. I need to put the cores up. And then I got to roll him out. Um, he does have an arrow. Okay. Let's see. Oh, too slow. He, like, did not want that. I will get this eventually. Come on, Drago. I want to open you for the first time. Hey, what the? Did you see that? It went all the way, like, it flung it at least, like, two feet away. And it went under the table as well. That that was insane. Yeah, I guess people have been saying that happens with Drago. He's It's so powerful that it flicks it off, like. Okay. Oh, that, that is insane, though. But his arms do fold out. His little, like, little, little arms. They're like Trox's arms. They're tiny. And, uh, I really like the way he stands. I love that they made him his legs big enough to where he stands like this. Like, he actually looks like his thing. Um, honestly, there's nothing bad about this figure. I know people are probably, oh, that looks weird, but who, who cares? I mean, it's on the back. It's not on the front sticking out. And they gave him so They even gave him the white teeth first, the paint. Because they like to put a little bit more time into Drago. And it looks like the eye... Oh, it's also white. Yeah, you can't... It's hard to see, but... His eye is painted white. Yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> so that that is really cool. Honestly, if they keep adding a little bit more paint colors to each uh, faction, like they usually Pyrus has the green, orange, and red, and they put a little bit of white. Maybe they'll start doing a little bit of white to every Bakken or a different color as well, just for the accents on them, just to make them look a little bit more show accurate. So uh, honestly, this is probably the best looking figure as of now. 
Uh, I really want to see what Artulian and Fade Ninja are going to look like. Mostly Artulian, because he was one of my favorites for some reason. I think I really like the way he looked. Like, Sinius and Artulian and Drago are my favorites. And, um... When, when will that, do you think that come out? I think I'm going to I'm gonna say wave 5 or 6 because we haven't seen anything on his look at all. We've seen, I think, his, his card stats. I think on one of those little Bakken videos. But other than that, we really don't know much about his design. We've seen even others. We've seen the Triceratops one. Uh, tri what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. I don't, no one remembers that one at all. I don't. I really don't. Uh, I want to roll him one more time because this court. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to try to roll him backwards and see what happens. He keeps the core. Roll him backwards because he'll land like this and he won't fling it and stand. He will slam on it and you might have a chance to catch another core. Oh, it's actually really hard because his wings stick out more than the magnet, but he can magnetize too. So if you don't want your dragon to throw the core across the room and hit someone in the eye, roll him backwards. Like like with Fangzor too, if you roll him backwards, he'll do like a tail kick. He can kick your opponent's Bakken and he lands on his head and can grab a second core. Same for Neelius. That's like a standard for Neelius Ultra. A lot of people know that now. After I've been doing all the battles with it, people realize, oh, this is broken. Let's do that. So, um, yeah, that is the Dragonoid Ultra figure. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell us what you'd like to see for the battles. Oh, actually, I know you guys want to see battles, so don't answer that. I already know what, what I want. I want this, Gorthion, and Gold Fangzor, but as of now, him and Gorthion and maybe Krakelios will have to do for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support, and thank you for all the support on, on eBay with those sales. Thank you so much. I know you guys love those low prices. We put stuff up for, like... I know the shipping's like a little, well, it's not that high, but we put stuff for a dollar play sets. I think we sold half of everything, so sorry if you couldn't get anything from the Resurgence set, but uh, let us know what you're looking for. We might be able to make a deal. So, um, yeah, we're going to try to get more up once more booster boxes hit so everyone can get the stuff they need for their decks. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe for more videos.